Yes, I am making a review. What movie? The Island. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's a good movie. You're on camera, by the way. I'm what? You're on camera. No, I'm not. Bruh. And then also... Familiar? Huh? Is that familiar or what? Some hag trophy wife needs new skin for a facelift or one of them gets sick and they need a new part, they, they take it from you. When I found this movie on in Big Lots, for um, three dollars, I literally freaked out because I'm like, really? How? Uh, how? What? I've been wanting to get this movie because it's a movie by Michael Bay that's not Transformers. I'm the most interested in that's and also that's not Bad Boys. So I'm like, really? It's, it's I can find it. I wish I would get Blu-ray though because you know how DVDs are. They're not the best quality, but it's still pretty okay. It's uh, it's a DVD. What can I say? But I wonder how this would have must have looked if it was on Blu-ray. I, I bet it would have looked awesome. So Michael Bay, as you know, my third favorite director because he made my third favorite movie of all time, Transformers. Um, I love the first three Transformers because I grew up on those. I grew up on the, with them. Um, what other thing can I say? This is the least Michael Bay that I know of because I know like for some of the Transformers films, he's like boom, 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 boom. Um, the be, besides Thirteen Hours, that I heard it's like his most, most mature film. Um, and like Six Underground, it's like just every everything boom, just boom. This it takes forever to get to like the, the, the explosions. It's Michael Bay, like real Michael Bay. Um, like the first hour, they're still on the island. I was very intrigued. Th this movie proved to me that he can make a good move, like a good move, like an actual good movie. I'm not saying like he's made he's a bad director, he's made bad movies. Transformers 4 and 5, but it's more it to me it's like Transformers. Like he act, it's not that he actually tried, but he actually tried. Um and he succeeded. A lot of the moments with Clark Duncan, I think that's his name. Um John Coffey and um the Green Mile, this guy. Why do I have movies on deck just ready to go and show you? <laughs> When he woke up during surgery, when they were gonna take out his liver, he like started crying, saying, "No, I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to live." That got me like, "Oh dear, these are actual people. It doesn't matter. They're clones. They're real people." So it made me emotional. That I was surprised out of a Michael Bay film, um, that it made me feel that. I th also oh, also another moment that made me feel like that is. When the lady, I don't know, remember his name, her name, she, when she was giving birth, and then they're like, okay, she was like, can I hold the baby, please? Because that's literally what every single mother wants to do when they give birth, you hold their baby. But the the nurse is like, no, and then like puts chains on her, and then they kill her with poison, and then she just goes and give her to a different person. I don't care; they're the exact same person. But they're clones. They're separate people with the same exact genes, but they're separated. You, why would you give it to another person, not the real mother? I was never really a big simp for Scarlett Johansson. Now, I'm a, I'm a, why did I point there? Now, I'm a very big simp for <laughs> Scarlett Johansson because of this movie. Um, yeah, just to get, just something I want to say. This, this part was crazy. Like, my dad and I were like, how did they survive? I think this was the most Michael Bay Michael Bay had did in this movie up to this point. Like we don't know how they survived at all. Uh, we're... How? I mean, it's a movie. Well, that's not a reason to. I laughed so hard when he said that. In the beginning of the video, not with the uh, with the friend. Um, when when like I showed you the comparisons between the island and Transformers Three. 
I had the biggest grin on my face when I saw that scene. I'm like, <laughs> that's Transformers. I that's Transformers. This scene wasn't as sad, but I'm like, oh, that's Ewan McGregor's friend. So, it's sad. Moving on. Steve Buscemi is in this film. I I knew he was in it, but I completely forgot he was in it. Um, who else? Yeah, um, Obi Wan Kenobi. What's it called? Mister Pink. Scarlet, I mean, Black Widow, John Coffey. I'm trying to think who else, but I can't really remember who else. But yeah, I'm like, Steve Buscemi. Then that's his second time working. Oh, I don't have it there anymore. That's his second time working with Michael Bay. And she, trans he was in Transformers as well. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Like, it, at the beginning of the movie, it was mysterious. Then And then it became a comedy with a very effective comedy at that, I really liked that like comedy part where like they're fish out of water, they don't know what's going on. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I do highly recommend it. If you don't like Michael Bay, he his Bay his Bay Michael Bay. It's a, like it goes. It shows up later, later in the film. It doesn't show up like immediately. But yeah, this is one of his least Michael Bay movies, especially in, like the beginning. But yeah, it, it is a really good movie. I do enjoy it. What are your thoughts on it? And check out my Discord server and letterbox. <laughs>